with Peter PPD Dager the day before EG plays in their quarterfinal game against Complexity. Um, there's a history between you guys. You got your captains, especially you got you and Swindle. I wasn't a captain in Han. Uh, okay. I was just a lowly support player. Uh huh. We try not to feed. And uh, the the rivalry in Han. What was that like? Um, I don't know. A lot of teenage ang angst, I suppose. Mm hmm. So. What well, uh, a few things were said. Emotions were had. Yeah. Um, he's very confident. You know, I talked to him. He's very confident about being in your in your head and all that stuff. What in, What do you think about that? In my head. Yeah, in your head personally. Oh uh, no, I don't. Not anymore. I don't think so. Grown up, different game. It's a uh, different mentality. I've uh, I've learned a lot the past two years. And uh, you guys had the opportunity to pick them or C9, and you went with Complexity. Why, why did you guys pick them? Um, I think we respect C9 a lot more in terms of like player skill and team skill and team experience. Like this, <coughs> this is these guys' first Dota land, and I don't think their group is very strong. So I'm not really sure they've proved very much. I, you know, I, I, I don't. It's not that I don't think they're a good team. I think they are, and I think that they will give us some good games. But I think that we would have um, an easier road by playing them versus C9. And you're giving uh, American fans a bit of a bit of a pickle, you yeah. know. Uh, I'm sure that weighs heavily on your decision when you guys pick. But well, um, uh, look at it this way: they're guaranteed uh, an American team in the top six. So. Oh, okay. All right. That's that's the positive thinking. I like it. Um, your team, you know, we saw some quirky strategies in the group stage, but you know, do we have some special stuff? Quirky strategies, like what? Like the Enchantress. Oh, yeah, that was that was fun. No, uh -huh. yeah, we like that. That was good. That was, that was something we've practiced a couple of times, and it's worked. It's always worked, actually. So maybe we'll run it again. It's uh, it's not like I, it's not like a pick I have to hide or anything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just it's good. What do you think about the the two Chinese teams that have distinguished themselves in the two groups? Um, LGD and C deck. Yeah. Um, I think C deck has found a playstyle that just works for them. I think they're doing really well. I really like their captain, Q, and he's like their support player. I think he's really, really good. I think he's really smart. And uh, coming from the wild card, they are the most successful wild card team probably by far um, at this point. Um, do you uh, do you see them going really far in the tournament, or? Um, well, I th they just you know demolished Cloud Nine in game one. And I, I predict them to win 2-0 over Cloud9. So if top six is pretty far in the tournament, then I would say yes. I'm mm -hmm. not sure how they'll do in their next series, but I think they could probably get top five. Um, we saw some teams that you know were strong early on in the year um, not do so well in the group stage. You know, we saw uh, Vici especially um, not doing as well. Do you? Um, well, what's the mentality like in a? Best of one to you know for all, so much like have you even been in that situation? I had to do a best of one against London Conspiracy at X Games Austin, and we <laughs> lost. Uh -huh. And it's first off, it's like there's no way like Dota is supposed to be played that way, but it is what it is. And it's uh, I try not to ever have myself in that position. So we we practiced and you know tried really really hard in the group stage um, for the teams that are in there. I, I don't know. I, I could put myself in their shoes. I've never been in that position. I would be probably freaking out for the amount of money that's put in, put in place for that one game. So, uh, well, you guys get to watch. There's four best of ones today. Four teams going out. Yeah. Um, what 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 are your thoughts on you know everything else about the tournament? I know you guys have been very focused. You know, no interviews, staying to yourselves, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's it's pretty easy to stay to yourselves this year. I yeah, give your own room, right? Yeah, you yeah. just stay in your own room the entire time, and then come down and play your games, and then go back to your room. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your your practice room is like basically right next to your hotel room, where all like you know a couple floors different. So you just never leave the one tower. You never see anyone else. It's I talked about it in the other interview I did with um, Ineska, mm -hmm. and I just I you kind of miss like the whole community part of TI. Like last year, there was like. Everyone's in the banquet hall watching the group stage matches, and they're like eating dinner together, and you know, cheering for you know their fellow Chinese teams or your fellow North American teams. This year, it's not really like that, but it's fine for me. I just I just want to play Dota and win. What's the what's the team mentality like these days right now? Is everything just like? Because I feel like you guys are just you're not even 
like you you always are on the radar on EG, but like not so much this tournament. It's like all, everyone's talking about Secret, you know. Yeah, Secret's definitely got a lot of hype. I think they're for good reason, you know, the favorites in this tournament. Um, for us, I think we have a relatively small fan base. We don't have like these huge personalities, so our team's pretty tame. Uh, mentality of the team, uh, we we actually had almost two weeks of boot camp total, and it, it went really, really well. It's one of our, the best boot camps I've been to. I think we had one argument that I can, you know, pick out from all of it, and it was, you know, done and over in less than 10 minutes. So uh, most teams get sick of each other, and their boot camps turn into disasters, but we had a lot of good practice, and you know, we all get along you know, to a reasonable extent. What do, you, what, do you, what do you like about your teammates outside of Dota? Outside of Dota? Um... The thing is, like, the more I've played Dota and the more it's become a full-time thing, the less personal relationships I've had with my teammates. Mm -hmm. Just because it's, it is, you know, it's gotten to the point where it's literally, like, work. Um, which isn't a bad thing, it's just different. That's how professional athletes view it, you know, like, you're my boy when we're on the court, but when we're off the court, it's, we keep to ourselves sometimes. It's just nice to have space. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you already have to put up with your teammates, um, you know seven eight hours a day and especially when you go to tournaments or boot camps you know like odds are you're rooming with them so it's like 24 hours a day with, you're with these guys and so you're not in a sumail stream chat when you stream no i am sometimes and i yeah it's it's not that we're not friends it's just no. it's not like back when i played han and it was like way less ca or way more casual and way more a hobby than it was a job you know my teammates were like my best friends on the internet and we would just like hang out and team speak and talk all the time and you know, chat about stupid things, and now it's more just like Dota. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's changed about your actual, you know, real life support system since TI4? Are they more into it this time? Do your parents know more about Dota now? Or my dad's always been very into it, like like scary into it. Like, oh yeah. May or may not play Dota at home, and I don't know about it yet. He, he plays Dota secretly. I wow. Well, he's very involved. I'm not sure. He may or may not be that EG fanboy on Reddit that's like defending me all the time. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. I like to think that he's. You know, keeps his mouth shut and doesn't post and doesn't doesn't play <laughs> That's Dota. That's crazy. And does normal dad things, but um, he'll definitely listen to this interview and give me some crap for this comment. Oh yeah, for sure. He does he give you draft advice all the time. All okay. The time. So what's his draft them. advice for the group stage? He was actually pretty tame this time. Okay. It's uh, there's been like. I know Sam's da Sam's dad, uh, Bulba, our coach. Uh -huh. His dad messaged him and said, "Like, watch out for bounty hunter or something." He's like, "Tell, he's like, tell Peter to watch out for bounty hunter." <laughs> and and it, it's helpful advice. Da yeah, I bounty guess. hunter gets picked. Dads, dads are funny. That's all. Yeah. I, that's all I have to say about you that. You wouldn't have considered bounty hunter at all, that's if true. not for yep. Sam's dad. Yeah, Sam's dad, MVP. How how is Sam helping? Is he good? Sam's like, um, he's like an outside perspective that I can bounce ideas off of. So. Uh, a big thing that we do, just an example, is we do like mock drafts where I'll draft and me, like me and Fear, basically will draft with like Owie and Universe chiming in a little bit. Smell so, no, that silent. Um, Which then, one of my yeah, tempo yeah. cores are you going to pick me this game, Peter? Yeah, and then, <laughs> um, and then Sam will be like, you know, on the other side of the room with headphones on, music on, so he can't hear us talk, and he'll be drafting like he's uh, the okay. other team. So it's it's really good practice, and he's like, I mean, he still kind of understands what we think, but he still has like a very outside perspective and he's good at putting himself in the other team's shoes so he can he can like simulate the other team like does he draft differently when you're playing like let's say you're playing against lgg yeah. he'll pick like lgg style like yeah so it's it's nice to be able to get a plan like when we went up against c deck in the last part of the group stage uh -huh. you know there's a lot of points on that match and it was our only match that day so we the night before you know we ran a couple of mock drafts and just like really like hammered it out and be like all right this is what's gonna happen if we do this they're gonna do this and literally just everything we did just like was exactly what we thought or ev everything they did was exactly what we thought we thought they would okay so uh hopefully you guys did, did you guys do a lot of preparation for complexity uh yeah i think uh we spent like one entire day on our first draft and then the next day we spent like half the uh, not the entire day but like probably like two hours two three hours for each like each side like mm -hmm. radiant or dire like depending which one we get kind of a thing do you feel a little bit of extra rivalry against these guys or at all? Not really. Mm -hmm. um, we practice against them a lot because they're North American mm -hmm. and they've gotten to know us and our play style very well. I think the reason why Complexity is doing so well compared to other teams is that they practiced a lot and I think their two most teams they practice against were us and Secret mm -hmm. just because they were willing to you know, play us at whatever time was convenient for us. 
and they were just always available because they're at that team house or whatever. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's the best way to get better is to just practice against better people. Mm-hmm. And you guys, you know, you guys. I guess you guys, if you guys are practicing against each other, it can't be that uh, no actual animosity. No, 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 that's no. that's like all that kind of stuff is pretty much behind me. I don't really harbor any like ill intent towards any players anymore. It's mm-hmm. not like you've grown up. I've matured for sure. Yeah, just like our tours interview. He's trying to be all professional. It's it's hard not to be PC in a game that's this popular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you have any uh, do you have any last words for uh, for your fans, friends, anything like that? Just thanks for watching. Eighteen million dollars is a lot of money. I'm hoping uh, you know I can bring some of it or keep some of it here in the U.S. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hoard it. Yeah. Well, you're probably bringing more because the contributions from all over the world. You're improving your stimulus true. package to yeah. the U.S. economy. Bring, gotta bring that home. That's right. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much. You know, um, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.